Episcopal Church here, and uh, that was just so, so awesome. That was an amazing time to be able to celebrate uh, the, the death and the burial and the resurrection and the new raising up of the life of, of uh, several of, of the individuals. Uh, you know, they have one guy that has just recently given his heart to the Lord. But you know what? When, when we put out the call, does anybody want to be baptized? Dallas was like, raise his hand first because he's like, I want to be able to testify. I want to be able to, to uh, share that and confess to, to everyone around that I am a child of God and that I've been changed. And so we were just excited. And Felicity, she jumped in there. I think the ladies are still uh, probably changing and takes them a little bit longer than me. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm thinking now, uh, I'm not wearing my shoes. <laughs> me either. I'm thinking it would be, and I, I saw a couple of others that didn't have their shoes on, so I'm thinking, maybe we should just do a foot washing. You, know, you guys are like, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to touch my feet. You don't want to do that right now. Okay, so, yeah. All right. Get the gloves out. 86. <laughs> but I, I just wanted to share with you guys just uh, just for a couple of minutes. Um, I didn't have a long sermon prepared because I knew that we were going to do something there. Um, actually, it took even a little bit longer than I had anticipated. I hope you guys are cooling down now. Cooling down a little bit. Wasn't that great? We were reading that right out of Psalms and it was talking about even in the heat of the day, you know. And I was thinking about all of these ministries when they're ministering in like Africa and they're wearing long sleeve white shirts, right? Yeah. And I'm sitting there thinking, wow, I'm, I'm glad there's at least some trees, a little bit of breeze going on, you know. So, um, but I got cooled off a little bit. Um, but I wanted to share this with you guys. Last week, Valerie was talking about Naaman, right? And uh, Naaman was the commander of the Syrian army, and he had come and... Um, and, and he had leprosy, which that was also something that was interesting because that was in the scriptures and in some of the readings that we had today as well. Uh, one of the things that that uh, came to mind last week that I wanted to share with you guys. The spirit of conviction can come on at any time. And we, we, I think we've lost that thought about praying for the spirit of conviction to come over the hearts of the people whenever we are ministering to others that, that don't know Jesus and they don't understand uh, the, the things of God. And um, so I remember when Valerie was talking about Naaman last week that the revival, there was a revival that came into town when I was a little boy. And the preacher was preaching, you know, it was one of those, you know, more traditional type revivals. And, you know, they come in and, and you have a revival all week long from Monday night all the way till Sunday. It's a little different than the revivals that Valerie and I have and some of you guys have been involved with. that goes for years and years. But this was that 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 type of revival. And the and I'll never forget the preacher, what he was, the message he was preaching on. On the day that I felt the conviction of the Holy Spirit. And he was preaching on Naaman. And the, the conviction of the Holy Spirit came over my life. Because, and I, now that I, I, I'm older in the Lord and I, I've gone through in the, in, um, and, and we've transitioned into the prophetic and dream interpretation and all. One of the things that I recognize is that whole picture of what happened with Naaman, that whole picture is a prophetic act. It's a prophetic story of what Jesus was going to do thousands of years later. Here's a man that was from the Syrian army. He was not even from the Israel army. This is something that would be great for us to all see because Paul, when he began to preach, he preached to the Gentiles and he let them know that you're included. You're a part of this. You can come to know the Lord. Because in the Old Testament, uh, you know, Naaman was from the Syrian army. And one of the things that he did was he came to uh, Elisha. And as Valerie pointed out, all of the gifts. He was, he was going to pay 
for His healing. And one of the things that we recognize in, in, in God is when you come before the Lord, many times people want to pay for their salvation. They want to pay with their works. They want to say, you know, I've got to pray. Long, you know, I didn't pray long enough or I didn't read my word long enough or, or uh, you know, I have to go through some rituals. You know, the ritual of, of water baptism. You know, water baptism, here's the thing about water baptism. There's only two things that God commanded us to, uh, that Jesus commanded us to actually do uh, when it comes to the, uh, uh, what do they call those things? Uh, the, 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 the sacraments, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, all those words, right? Two. One was taking communion, right? And we, we talked about that a few weeks ago. Do this in remembrance of me. And the only other one was make sure that you go out and you preach the gospel baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And that's the one key is we're baptizing. We baptized. That was over what we did today. It was just a sim symbolically of baptizing and allowing the Holy Spirit to baptize these three that, that just got baptized with water. So Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, come. Just Holy Spirit, just blast Felicity right now in Jesus' name. More, more Holy Spirit. More Holy Spirit. Let the fiery, 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 fiery love of God just blow over Felicity right now in Jesus' name. And just extend your hand out to her. If she's right back there, you know, extend your hand. And Holy Spirit, we say, come. Holy Spirit, more. More, Lord. More, Lord. Come on, more. And now we're going to release more on Dallas. That guy's got some fire, but we want more fire on you. Wow, come on, more fire. You, you, think, you think Dallas is on fire, but well, boy, God's, God's not done yet. Come on, give him more, Lord. More. So we release the more fire on Dallas right now in Jesus' name. More of his fiery, fiery love. More of his anointing. More of his dunamis power to re release the word of God over those around him. Not in a beating him over the head with a Bible way, but in a way that comes in like that honey, on sweet, sweet honey on his lips. Re dripping with the love of Jesus. Dripping with the love of the Father. That, that, that they will, uh, the Holy, conviction of the Holy Spirit will come. Come. In Jesus' name. Wow. Thank you. Yeah, so I just wanted to share with you guys um, on that. Because that story that Naaman, whenever he came to the Lord and finally realized it's not complicated. He thought he had to do something big. He thought he had to do something great. But it wasn't complicated. Go dip yourself in the Jordan seven times and, and you'll be healed and clean. And when it comes to our salvation, we make it complicated. And the more and more we, you know, it's almost like after we get saved, we even make it complicated on ourselves after that, right? And Jesus is saying, just come to me. Just come and sit at my feet. It's not about what you do. You don't get your identity in what you do. Some of you actually have been in the church so long you don't recognize your identity is now in what you do. And if you pull, if, if God pulls you out of whatever it is that you're doing, you know, that's but my identity. I'm I'm the sound guy. That's my identity. That's what I do for the Lord. That's my identity. And God is saying, if He pulls you out of that, your identity is still in Him. Isn't that right, man? Your identity is still in Him. Praise the Lord. Awesome. And so I now want to just release you guys because we're going to celebrate and have a fellowship over these two. And, and if, if John comes back from, uh, from the other side, if, they, if he comes over, we're going to celebrate with him their, their, their new life, their, their uh, new uh, uh, re re renewing their hearts to the Lord, you know. Amen? Amen? All right, so let's party. Let's have a party. Let's have a party in Jesus. So Jesus, we just thank you. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you that, that just as there's a party in heaven, there's a celebration whenever one comes to the Lord. 
that Father that you search that you'll leave the 99 to go and find the one and when you find the one all heaven breaks out in celebration so we break out in celebration over John coming to the Lord this uh, recently, Lord. We celebrate and we thank you, Father, that Felicity it gave her heart to the Lord and Dallas gave his heart to the Lord. And, Father, that they've committed to live for you. And, Father, we thank you, Lord, that just as there's a celebration in heaven, we thank you and we celebrate with them right now in Jesus' name. All right. Amen. Yes. Come on. Let's celebrate. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hey guys, we are so glad that you have joined us this morning. We are Catch the Fire Orlando, birthed out of Toronto, Canada, and the outpouring of the Holy Spirit 25 years ago. We are so blessed that you have chosen to be a part of our family this morning as we worship our amazing God. We also want to make sure that you know what is going on. And so on the first and the third Friday of every month, we have both Prophetic and Dream Labs. And if you would like to be a part of that, we would love to have you join us. Please be sure to send us your email so we can send you a Zoom link. Also, if you are looking for other events going on, you can follow us on Facebook, like us, and share us with a friend as well. And that way you can be a part and know what's going on in the, in the life of our church. If you are looking for prayer requests or are wanting a prophetic ministry over your life, we would love to come alongside of you and help you and serve you in that way. So please send us a message and we will be sure to get you linked up. Uh, lastly, if you are looking for ways to donate and support the ministry of CTF Orlando, we would love to help you in that as well. You can go to our website, ctforlando.com, and click on the donate button. You can also go straight to the PayPal site at paypal.me forward slash CTF Orlando. God bless you guys, and we just ask that God would continue to pour out his blessing and his will and his way in our lives as we continue in this service.